Have you ever walked outside at night, looked up at the stars and planets in the sky and thought to yourself, I could do that. We're gonna be using some really cool techniques to create some 3D abstract planets and animate them to orbit around the composition. What's up everyone? This is Jordan Breton with Sonduck Film. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is set up our main planet and a secondary planet that orbits around it. We'll start by selecting the ellipse tool, set fill to solid color, stroke to none, Hold shift, then click and drag to create a perfect circle, then hold control and double click the pan behind tool to center its anchor point. I'm going to use the align tool to put the circle at the center of the composition. I'll press control D to duplicate it. Then we'll set its color to be a bit gray so you can see it better when it's rotating. Now I'm going to shrink the second circle down a bit, then move it so it's off the side of the main circle like this. Now go up to layer, new, Null object, this is going to be the center of gravity that our planet is going to rotate around, so enable all these layers as 3D layers, then parent the smaller circle to this null object. Highlight the null, press R for rotation, set a keyframe for Y rotation at the start of the timeline, move to around 2 seconds on the timeline, then bring the rotation down to negative 360 degrees so that the small planet rotates clockwise around the main planet one time. Alt click the stopwatch for Y rotation and type in loop out with an open and close parentheses so that the planet keeps rotating forever. You can see now that when the planet is rotating, its orientation is rotating too and we don't want that. So what we'll do is highlight the smaller planet and go to layer, transform, auto orient. Set the layer to auto orient toward camera, then click OK. And now you can see the smaller planet is rotating while facing toward the camera the whole time. And now our basic orbiting animation is set up and ready to go. When you start a project, the first thing you typically want to do is get the layout and the basic animation complete as this sets the groundwork for the rest of your project, which will allow you to expand upon it. As you can see up to this point in this tutorial, everything here looks very basic, uh, but from here, we're gonna be able to take this plain composition and really take it to the next level with texturing and then creative effects. Next, we're going to be shading our planets to give off a cool dynamic eclipse effect. We'll start with our main planet, duplicate it, set the original to be completely black in color, then take the duplicate and position it up and to the right of the original like this. Now go up to effect, channel, set matte, and effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. Set the matte to take matte from the original circle layer underneath of it. Increase the blurriness of the Gaussian Blur all the way up to around 180 or so. Then duplicate the set matte effect and drag the duplicate underneath of the blur effect. Now when we move around the top circle layer, you can see this dynamic eclipse shadow effect. Next, we'll repeat this process on the moving planet. So highlight all of these effects Press Ctrl C to copy them. Highlight the small planet, duplicate it, then press Ctrl V to paste all the effects in to the duplicate. Set the color of the original small planet to be completely black, then go into the effects of the duplicate, reduce the blurriness down to around 50 or so, and for both set matte effects, make sure you change the take matte to be the original small planet layer instead. Now, when you move the duplicate, you can see it has the same effect as the main planet. To make sure the shading shows up properly on the smaller planets when rotating, press P for position on the duplicate and move it back by about 30 or so on the z-axis so that the two layers don't clip. Lastly, go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, then go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise, set the noise to around 20% and uncheck Use Color Noise. Now our planets have proper shading with this nice dynamic eclipse effect on them. And now, a word from our sponsors. Us. You probably know that making motion graphics can sometimes be difficult and time consuming. So to fix that problem, we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce awesome work under one single subscription price. You can easily preview templates from any of our packs, just like our motion graphics advanced pack here, and just click apply. Then you can easily modify the parameters of the template and you're done. So if you're looking to get some assistance in advancing your business or career, check out every template we have with our links below. Finally, we're going to add some stars to our composition, add some post-processing effects, and duplicate some planets. To add stars, all we need to do is go to Layer, 
new solid make sure the solid is fully white then click ok now put that layer just above the background layer and go up to effect simulation cc starburst set the scatter for the starburst to around 225 speed to 0.1 and size to 20 now we have a nice slow moving field of stars behind our planets next we're going to create a new adjustment layer then go up to effect color correction curves effect time posterize time and effect stylize glow for the curves we'll take the rgb curve and bring it slightly up and to the left then we'll change over to red we'll bring the bottom left down a tad then bring the top right up a bit when it comes to effects that you're going to use in a creative setting, like for example, the curves effect that we're using right now, there's so many different ways to use this effect to help enhance your work. The curves effect is a great coloring and compositing effect that you can use for your compositions because you can color each of the individual channels RGB and also affect the brightness and the contrast of your scene. Uh, so really, it's just a matter of playing around and over time, you'll get experience with this effect uh, and be able to fine tune your project much quicker. But it's very important that you go ahead and experiment with the curves effect to get the right color grade and mood that you're looking to accomplish. For posterized time, we'll set the frame rate to 12 to give the animation a choppier look. For glow, set the threshold to 40%, radius to 500, intensity to 0.3, glow colors to A and B colors, color looping to sawtooth B greater than A, and set color A to a nice light blue. Duplicate the glow, increase the radius to 1000, and finish things off by enabling motion blur on all the layers. If you want to add more planets to the composition, all you need to do is highlight the two shape layers for the small planet, as well as the null object they're parented to, duplicate them, then move just the planet layers wherever you like on the composition. Make sure you highlight the top small planet and change the set mat of it to be the small planet layer underneath of it, just like we did when we duplicated the planets last time. And we're done! An amazing composition of nicely shaded planets orbiting around with dynamic eclipses. We're at the end of the video, which means subscribe and sign up for our subscription. Also, we have free templates for you to use, the links will be in the description, and remember, always be creating.